Module 3, Approachability and Attitude. The goal of this module is for the viewer to be able to recognize and develop appropriate behaviors when working with patrons. Imagine this. It's almost closing time and a patron has been working for hours on a project. It has been announced that the library will be closing in 10 minutes. Our patron is almost done, but it will take him a few extra minutes to finish. What do you do? Maybe you could give him five more minutes while you're finishing closing tasks, or maybe you could just tell him that he should have started his project earlier so he could finish before the library closes. Giving him five more minutes would be considered good patron service. Telling him time's up and he should have started sooner is an example of poor patron service. How do we deliver what patrons want? One way is to put yourself in the shoes of the patron. What do you want when you are the patron? What type of service do you expect? Think of the best customer service you have ever received. How were you treated? What made it the best? Now think of the worst customer service you have received. What was missing? What did you expect and not receive? How can we provide patrons with excellent service? What do we need to do? Number one, appear welcoming and approachable. Two, be aware of patrons and be ready to give them your full attention. And number three, go the extra mile. Let's look at each of these qualities more closely. How can we appear more welcoming and approachable? One way is to make eye contact with the patrons. Your eyes are not only your window to the world, they're also other people's window into you. If you bury your head in a book, stare at the floor, or look up at the ceiling, you close that window. So scan your environment with your eyes, and don't be afraid to make eye contact with people. Greet patrons. Saying hello will make patrons feel welcome. Yes, some will have headphones in, but you can greet them with a nod of your head. Don't forget to smile. A warm, inviting smile can put anyone at ease. If you catch someone else's eye, be sure to give them a little smile, and be sure to smile often during small talk. It lets people know you appreciate talking to them. Give patrons your full attention. Stop whatever you are doing and listen carefully to what the patron has to ask or say. Even if you have answered the same question 20 times today, it's still the first time that the patron has asked it. Remember that actions speak louder than words. Your posture should be welcoming and open. We all speak with body language, and you don't have to actually say anything to communicate a message to others. Another way to be more approachable is to be aware of your surroundings. Look around your area. Maybe you've seen the same patron wandering past the desk. Ask them if they need help. Are patrons looking at the map or directory of the library? This could be an indication that they're lost. Ask them if you can be of any assistance. You are bound to be asked triage questions. If you are not sure the answers to the questions, be sure you know where to find the answer. Some of the questions you may get include where are the restrooms, where can I get coffee, where is there an open computer, and where is the color printer located. Finally, make sure that the patron has experienced outstanding service by going that extra mile. Asking them if you can help them with anything else shows them you are willing to go above and beyond their initial request. Using please and thank you shows that you are respectful and courteous. Using good manners also helps you to appear more approachable. So, how can we deliver what patrons want? Number one, appear welcoming and approachable. Two, be aware of patrons and be ready to give them your full attention. And number three, go the extra mile. Our patrons will appreciate your effort and continue to visit us at the library.